Hey everybody, welcome to the quick walkthrough of Digicom. You all know Digicom is a simple, powerful, extendable and first digital commerce extension for Joomla. From the beginning of the development and the successive feature enhancement, we are inform you everything, leaving no stone unturned. We have written couple of blog posts and time to time we are notifying you from our social media channels. But from today, I'm going to release a coherent video documentation on the individual featured description. But wait, in this video, I am only going to flip you through the quick overview of entire Digicom. So let's follow me. When you successfully install the Digicom, a chart icon with Digicom written in its right, catch your eyes if you are in the Joomla backhand. To save you from the superfluous click, we added Digicom accessing link in the top main menu. If you are accustomed to accessing Joomla component from the component menu, we have added Digicom accessing link under the component menu. So click on it. This is the dashboard of Digicom. The dashboard screen gives you a quick overview of monthly store report including total sale, total orders, pending orders, new customers, sales analytics, latest order and the most sold products. From this screen you can perform any task regarding Digicom as well. Like you can add single and bundle product in your digital store, peep into the category manager, product manager, file manager, discount manager, learn about Digicom and store overall analytics. You can also manage orders and customers all together. Now back to the dashboard. The task you can perform from the right sidebar of Digicom admin panel the same task you can perform from the quick access menu from anywhere in the Joomla backend. You might have noticed a button called option. In the top right corner of the Digicom dashboard, click on it. It will reveal collapsed global setting. Currently you can see ACL setting and configuration under global setting. When you have add-on installed for your Digicom store, you will have all essential settings will be available here in the blank area. When you click on ACL settings, it will open up global ACL setting of Digicom. From here, you can define who can do what and who can see what in Digicom. Now, back to the global option and click onto the configuration setting. Here from the configuration screen, you will find general, currency, store, theme and email setting options. From general tab, you can switch between hide and show options of product catalog, quantity counter and show validity. From the general tab you can also define payment default method, set country visibility, change date and time format, add FTP repository path and a lot more. From the currency tab you can set product pricing format, currency, currency position and thousand grouping symbols. Now move to the store tab. Store tab accept the information to be used in the content of the invoice and emails. The information includes store name, address, additional information, phone number and store logo. The theme section contains the template options that handles how Digicom store looks. This section allows you to change store template, number of columns and define numerous thumbnail settings. When you are running digital commerce and e-commerce website, you have to keep in touch with your existing customers with various transactional emails. With Digicom, you will find every essential email settings that you need to run your digital e-commerce store. This email setting panel contains all prevalent email settings such as new order email settings, complete order email settings, processing order and cancel order. So guys, it was a simple and quick overview of overall Digicom settings. I know you guys are yet to understand everything. Don't worry, from the next video, I am dedicatedly coming with the detailed description of entire Digicom settings. So stay with us.